Alrighty guys, good morning. Welcome to another video. Now today we are at Adelaide Oval for our primer session. It is currently quarter past 10 and we start at 11.30. I've got here early so I can go get a coffee and just relax for a little bit. I've got a few phone calls to make um, before my session. And then once that is done, I'll head over to Cameron Oval because we've got training over there today. Um, but yeah, today should be a good day and um, yeah try and sneak in a visit to sports card world while in the city as well so hopefully that will happen but uh we'll wait and see What does it mean? <laughs> On camera once again, four times. Okay, that's the batter. Yep. That's the bowler. Okay. That's the pitch. Yep. This cricket ball is coming into the pitch. Okay. Um, the hands represent, I can't remember the exact meaning, but the hands represent something, and then the dots are all with different people from different communities. Yeah, okay, cool. Sick. Looks nice. By Alan Sumner. Who? Alan Summer. And what and why are we wearing this? It's the First Nations round. Um, indigenous culture celebrating that and we get to wear these awesome shirts. Against who? Her Scorchers. Awesome. Playing for the Faith Thomas Trophy. Yeah boy. How good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just got the guns. Now, do you feel huge after the gym? Um, I actually gained about 20 centimeters in biceps. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> well, I'm snatching, I was snatching. Oh, Oh yeah, all the indigenous kids have arrived. Look at them all. They look so good. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Love that! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, just got home from training. Training was good, weather was good. Um, had a field, had a hit in the nets, and then I just stayed around and threw to the other girls that were batting. Um, but yeah, today's been a really good day. Primer was nice in the morning, lifted a bit of weights. Um, and then as you saw, we got the indigenous shirts, so we'll be wearing them against the Perth Scorchers tomorrow, which is awesome. For the indigenous, indigenous, oh my god, for the indigenous round, 
for the Faith Thomas uh, Trophy. So that's going to be exciting. Currently, the Perth Scorchers are one up against us because obviously the game at Lilac Hill um, in Perth. Yeah. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we didn't have our Indigenous shirts um, then to wear them for that game. But luckily, they have arrived here in Adelaide um, just in time for tomorrow's game. Super excited, super keen. Hopefully, there will be a big crowd tomorrow. So we've got the game tomorrow. And then we've got two games on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday at Adelaide Oval, which is going to be very exciting. Um, but yeah, today's been good. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. It is currently, I think it's like 5.30, 6 o'clock, um, quite late. I feel, I, feel, I feel very tired for some reason. I think it's just yesterday the whole travelling day kind of took it out of me. I think that's what it is. Um, but other than that, pretty good. I'm just watching a bit of YouTube at the moment, as you can probably hear in the background. But yeah, it's been good. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically I went on a car trip and guys, come on out. Look, look at them, they're in the room. Come on, out, out of the room. Come on, out, come on, out. Look at them, come on, come on, out. Come on, back up, back up. <laughs> so I basically went on a car trip to pick up some Pokemon items and they're still in the room. Stay there. Okay, yeah, just stay there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just flip around the camera now and show you guys. So basically, I got three slash four boxes full of Pokemon plushies. Um, some old ones and some new ones. Guys, come on, out. You know you're not supposed to be in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, out. Come on, no. Guys, come on, out. Go. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna stay there. Stay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. So yeah, basically, guys. I swear they don't listen sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, basically, I got four boxes of plush toys, and I spent around eight hundred dollars. But I got some absolute bargains in there. So, as I was saying, I got most of these old vintage um, Hasbro plushies. Um, got a Raichu, got a Coughing, um, got a Pikachu. I <laughs> uh, got another Raichu because Raichu was my favourite. I got a Clefairy. Um, I got a Mewtwo. <laughs> um, got a Gengar. And yeah, just got a lot of plushies. So, I got some old ones there. If I can move this without putting every oh and a side arc as you can see for them we've got um some newish plushies i uh, got a free pop and a free um little um sheep um keep forgetting this one's name but uh yeah a sheep um and then some actual vintage um pokemon center plushies so like um, a lot of the Pokemon doll collection, um, Raichu. Everyone knows Raichu is my favourite Pokemon other than Charizard. Um, and some limited edition plushies from the Pokemon Centre, which is pretty cool. Um, some of the collections that they had. And, um, and I'm just throwing them away. Um, but yeah, I think some of the things that this person sold to me um, was actually really cheap. And I really do appreciate the massive deal um because yeah i did buy a lot <laughs> look at that ditto face um yeah i did buy a lot but in the end you know i know he's got to make some money um because unfortunately his business closed down due to covid um yeah like some of these are absolutely rare as um yeah rare as they can be and hard to find um so you got like event um, Pikachu's and stuff like that, like just cherry blossom season ones. You've got like Christmas ones, and um, you got Easter ones. Yeah, just so much Christmas ones. Yep, again Easter ones. I mean, like for example, like the Easter ones now, they go for around to between anywhere between two two hundred and three hundred dollars, um, which is ridiculous. Like. This picture alone goes for uh, two fifty, I think it is. Um, <laughs> Evie, Evie goes around one thirty, one forty, 
and then you got like all the certain like event Pikachu ones, which is sick. So, uh, and then you got Pikachu's, Pikachu's and costumes, um, and they're the official Pokemon Center ones. Um, but yeah, so many, so many good deals that I got. Um, and then our last box is basically all the fit Pokemon Fit um, Generation One plushies. So all the ones that are missing, basically. So. Um, awesome deal, to be honest. All this for 800 bucks because there is thousands worth of plushies here. So I'm actually very happy that I got all of this. <laughs> so yeah, around six o'clock, I decided to go to uh, yeah, down south, about an hour and a half away, um, to meet up with this person. Went through all of his collection, and I said to him, um, "Is there any chance you could be if you can be my main man?" from Japan, basically getting all the plushies imported from Japan. Um, and then I'll buy off him due to his sort of um, company shutting down due to, due to COVID. So I thought if I could make a good relationship with him, um, I could probably get all my plushies from him from the one place, one supplier and get a really good deal because he gave me a massive deal with all those. And you know, I'm very happy about that. And I want to support him as well because you know, COVID has hit everyone in hard times and he's doing it tough at the moment, but yeah, happy I could help out. <laughs> Come on guys, get out of this room. <laughs> um, but yeah, happy I could help him out. Okay guys, I think it's time for bed. You guys aren't listening to me anymore. <laughs> and on that note guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Tomorrow is game day. It's, it's a very important game for us against the Perth Scorchers. So fingers crossed we can do well. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.